would normally just use this thing right here to test the, uh, the bolt size, but obviously that's kind of a pain. So I just grabbed some metric bolts out of there, grabbed around my bag and tried it on there. It works really good. So this has a Kimco hub. What they do is they drill into it a bit to expand the holes and move them a little bit closer. They also open up the inside here so that the hub fits flush in there. They also put a note on the box for the hub uh, to remove these studs and they've included bolts um, to, to use instead. Um, so I'm going to run up to Home Depot, get uh, two bolts that fit on, and then when I tighten them together I should be able to grab the stud and screw it out of the hub. This fits into this just like so. I don't know if you can see, but it was originally uh, 140 and then they put this extra drill in there so that it could actually go all the way in the inside. Um, they did that on all four of those and then like I said they opened that up and it sits nice and flush. All right. They put a message on the box because obviously when I bought them both together they knew I was going to use them together. They said to remove the studs and use the supplies, bolts, and washers. Now I'm usually a fan of studs because what studs are basically double-ended bolts, all right? There's no head on it. And they're really good for putting equal pressure in both directions. Um, also, when you tighten them down, they tend to pull only this direction, and they don't add rotational force when you tighten them down. They've been doing this a long time, so I'm just going to go with what they have said, because I'm sure they've done it for a reason, okay? So... In order to get these out, I mean, I could probably take vice grips and just wrench them out, but just in case I need to use them, I'm going to try to do it the right way. So, what I did is I got these. They are M8125 nuts. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put two of them on there. And then I should be able to loosen the bottom one and it'll hit the second, the top one and so it'll turn the whole thing um, because they'll be kind of locked together. So like that. Put the second one on. Kind of try to tighten them against each other. So, I think that might be enough. And there we go. This one I tried to tighten them against each other a bit, but then whenever I go to spin it, it's just turning the top one, okay? So the other one I guess I got lucky and they just tightened up against each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to hold this bottom one with box wrench and then what I'll do is I'll try to tighten that against it and then hopefully from there they're tight enough against each other <sighs> yep and I think I think that's moving. Yeah. Now, I'm going to have to tighten them back down again. Sorry, I'm not grabbing all this on camera, but put it up against 
this bolt right there. Actually, I have the crescent runs on there, of course. Tighten that back down. All right, and then. That's coming right out. That one might have actually been coming out and I mistook this turning for that not coming out. But then all I gotta do to get that off, get one on there, and just separate those a little bit. Okay, and like I said, it, hopefully the video at Home Depot came out these move really nice on there. When you go to pick out the right nuts, there was like, that, like I said, there was a 5 16th nut that would go on about that much and then it felt really hard. And sometimes that's just how nuts are, but sometimes you can tell it's, it's more force than you'd like to try. So keep looking for the right nut. This is a metric. Um, most of the stuff that's coming over from Japan and China is gonna be metric. So if you find yourself in the non-metric section and you're putting a bolt on or not on and it doesn't quite feel right, look a little longer. Um, so, all right, I'm going to get these last two out and then we'll come back and we'll put them on the wheel. If I look at the stock wheel, this inside part right here seems to be right in line with the center of the tire. So... I take the hub, and then this is the center line. Let's say that when I put it in there, it comes out to about right there. So installing on that side. Um, they have hidden them from myself. Like I said, they've got these bolts and washers. So I am going to put the washer on this side under the bolt. Um, I guess so the bolt doesn't uh, rub against the wheel and make it harder to tighten down properly. I'm gonna get this done and I'll kind of show you how it looks at the end. So I was kind of running into an issue where one of them I was able to put it in by hand and the other ones they're going in a little bit, and then it's they're, they're, you can't do it by hand. Um, so what I did really quick is I took the, the nut that I used to remove the studs, and I'm just taking the screws, and I want to make sure they're the same screws. Maybe I got one that was right and three that were wrong or whatever. So just for e to ease my mind, I just put these up against each other, and you can tell when they lock into place with each other, you can tell that those threads are exactly the same, all right? I also took that nut, like I said, and screwed that in. Everything's fine. Take it. Everything's fine. So what I might do is take the one that was going in easy, put it in the other ones, and see if maybe, you know, it's just... See, I think that one's just difficult. And that one just screws right in real nice. So I think once I get an Allen wrench on here, it'll it'll be firmer, but hopefully it won't feel like I'm breaking anything. You know what I'm saying? So I'll feel more comfortable with that. So I'm gonna grab an Allen wrench and uh, start tightening these down. So now with an Allen wrench, you can tell it feels smooth. I don't feel like the metal, like, there's a sound when metal is like cutting through metal. There's a, maybe it's more of a feel than a sound, but it's definitely not that. You know, it's nice and smooth, a little bit more difficult than hand tight. So, um, I feel confident that everything's going fine as far as them going in straight and not stripping anything. Um, 
so yeah, you start to see how it is. I might decide to paint this at some point, um, but I haven't picked a color. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Gons. Uh, Gons is gonna um, build me a plate to cover this too, so maybe there's no point in in, uh, in covering up. But uh, I've had a lot of good talks with Gons and Kenny uh, over in our little group or whatever. So shout out to both you guys. Um, thanks for keeping me up late, uh, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so my battery died when I finally got the wheel all together. Um, but I'm gonna put a picture of it here. Also, I set my wheel on top of my stock wheel that has the 13070 on it, um, the one I need to replace, just to kind of give an idea of kind of how it's gonna look. Um, So that should give me a pretty good idea of what that tire is going to look like on that wheel. Um, so I definitely think that's the tire that I want after looking at that. Um, and that's what we're going to go with. Uh, so um, yeah, any, anybody who's watching this, I'm going to try to keep this rolling along as fast as I can. I'm going to order that wheel or the tire tonight. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get to that sooner than later. So I appreciate all the people who have subscribed. And um, shoot me a question or, you know, say what's up, you know, thumbs up, anything, don't care. Just uh, let me know. See you later, guys.